welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shardell and today I'm going to share 10 facts you probably don't know about me. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for clicking this video. Thank you for being the ride or dies whether you're new or have been here for X amount of time. I love you and it's lit, okay? Go ahead and subscribe, hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment down below once you hear the 10 things that I'm going to share with you and let me know some things about you because I'm nosy and I want to know, okay? All right? And share the video. Let's get this video up out there. Let's get all these videos up out there, okay? So, I already, I saw a friend of mine, Janice J. Mayo on Instagram. Um, she did a video on the 10 things uh, ten things about her, so I was like, why not do that for mine? Like, you know, I don't really, I feel like I don't really tell you guys too much stuff, and I kind of want to change that. I kind of want to connect with y'all on a more personal level because, I don't know, this is what I want to do. So, this is my first attempt in doing it, my first attempt at doing so, okay? So, I'm going to start off with this, some really easy stuff, uh, I guess. 10, 10 things, okay? So number one, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I used to be an all-star cheerleader and tumbler. I have cheered a majority of my life, I believe, from when I was really young till I was about maybe 17 or so or something like that. Um, all-star cheerleading costs a lot of money, of course. So after a while, I had to stop cheering for all-star and had to cheer for my high school, which I just really detested at the time. I really didn't want to. I met some amazing women, and I'm still friends with some of them now. And it was definitely fun when I think about it. You know, I had fun. But of course, because I had such a close bond to the people I cheered with on my all-star team and just that type of competitive cheer, I've, it's always it will always be something I miss because... You know, I wanted to go to University of Maryland and become a cheerleader for, you know, for them. And of course I could have, but once I slowed down on All Star and slowed down on working on my skills, because I was a tumbler, so I was doing full twisting layouts and layouts and standing tucks and all that stuff. But once I slowed down and didn't have to practice those things anymore, it was like, ugh, you're not going to get a scholarship to cheer there. And then I didn't even know what I wanted to go to school for at the time, so it was just like... Man. But yes, I used to be a cheerleader. I miss it and I'm really hoping Sky Baby decides to cheer or dance or something. So, that's number one. Number two, um, I have a, uh, my father is Jamaican and I have about nine or so siblings. And I say nine or so because I really don't know. Um, my dad was, if you know the song, Papa was a rolling stone. He's so sweet though, but, um... I have quite a few number of siblings. I, I know a handful of them. I've met a handful of them, I should say. And he lives in Jamaica. They live in Jamaica. It's just, you know, it's a little, it's a bittersweet because um, I saw them over the weekend, this past weekend. And I was just like, man, I wish I could have actually had the time or the opportunity to really connect with them and actually be a family, you know, because being the only child, my mother's only child, I'm, you know, I was by myself when I was little. So, Knowing that I have so much family, but it's just hard to connect, especially now in this stage of my life. You know, I have my own family now, and because I've never had to cultivate those kind of uh, relationships, I don't really know how to facilitate them. I don't really know how to build them and how to, you know. So, it's bittersweet, because I really want to get closer to all of them, all of them, but, you know, I guess circumstances don't really allow for that right now but I'm hoping that changes you never know time things change and people move and people come back around so you know you never know I'm 29 years young so we'll see number three is I'm looking at this like I don't know nothing about myself number three is I actually never wanted to have kids I don't know if I told you that but um in high school once I graduated from high school and I decided to move to New York um I honestly wanted to stay in New York I, my plan was to be, at this point in my life, my vision of my life was to be walking down 5th Avenue in my high heels, being real cute, making on the phone calls, um, on the phone, planning somebody's wedding. That's really what I had in my mind. I didn't want kids. Um, I just, I think I never really thought too deep about it back then. I was just like, I just don't, I don't know. I just don't want little kids, but now that I have my three beautiful kids, I'm like, yes, you drive me crazy, but I love you. But I definitely had different plans. I think a lot of us moms or people in general probably had way different plans than where we are now. But hey, it's still a blessing. I'm still blessed. They're blessed. We're loved. Yeah. Number, what number is that? Number four. I've 
been to Jamaica two times in my life. So when I was a little, not when I was a little, but when I was little, about probably, I want to say eight or ten, nine, something like that. Um, my mother was adopted when she was younger by Jamaican parents. And they had a house in Jamaica, so um, they came, they used to come up here to the United States sometimes. A lot. They had a house up here too. And one <clears throat> summer, they took me with them back to Jamaica. And I was only supposed to stay for like a month or a couple of weeks or something like that. All I know is I ended up staying for a whole summer. And um, I didn't like it. Uh, it was okay, but I miss my mommy. I was my mommy's only child. She was my only mommy. Like, that's my girl. Like, I wanted to go back to my mother. And she was supposed to meet me down there, but then she couldn't come. And <clears throat> it, was <clears throat> it was a whole lot of stuff. But I definitely spent a full summer in Jamaica. And... Um, culture wise it was awesome it was cool like walking down the dirt roads okay dirt roads and getting fresh coconut and climbing trees to get get up and my aunt my, no, my aunt my grandma had a huge garden in her backyard so it was awesome to see those things but I wish I could connect or was connected with them more too you know my family or who should be my family is just not it's not ideal and it's unfortunate because I feel like I could have learned a whole lot of stuff from her gardening wise because I want my own garden now and I can't even call her to ask her anything it's not it's weird things are weird but um at that time I definitely met a lot of uh, I guess people she was close to so we called them family down there and you know it was cool those beef patties in Jamaica if you get beef patties from 7-eleven and you haven't had one from Jamaica mmm mmm that is when I went the second time because I did go again while I was in college. Um, I actually got it because I haven't been in contact with my dad my entire life. So um, I've met him when I was about 12 or 13. Then we lost contact again. And then I don't even know years and years. And I went to college. And then one time I was on Facebook and my brother's mother contacted me. Like, Are you, you know, so and so's mom's daughter? And I'm like, Yeah. And then that's how they found me basically. So then that summer, um, me and my brother, my older brother, that I had met also that summer, I believe. Um, we both went to Jamaica to spend time with my dad. And I'm such a baby. Of course, I didn't stay the whole time. I wanted to come home. I went back home after two weeks. But I definitely sent my dad out probably every day to get me a beef patty and pineapple juice because it was so good. And it was cool. I mean, it's just such a culture shock when you go somewhere like that. And you're with someone who should be or should hold a certain place in your life and it doesn't feel that way um i've never i've had d d um father figures and they have been great father figures some of them that i'm still in contact with, contact with them today and they definitely filled a void but once you talk about my real father and you bring him into the fold it's like okay how should i be feeling about him you know and he's a different he's a different kind of animal He's not the kind of fathers that I've been accustomed to or that I've seen. So it's kind of hard. For, it was hard then for me to connect with him on a certain level because I was looking for him to be my father. And he was more of just, he was just chill. He just wasn't, he was just chill. And I didn't like it. So I went home. Okay. Because I'm real quick to roll out, which isn't, it's bad and good, but you know, I'm real quick to roll out. I get that from my, my mother. Okay. But now that he's back, it's, you know. We're doing good. Gotta keep it going. I gotta remember to pick the phone up because it's not just him, it's me too. I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Okay, number next one. Number five. While in Jamaica with my grandma when I was younger, we got chased by a cow. Um, we went to, it's this place in Jamaica. My, okay, my grandma lives in Kingston, Jamaica, right? So she lives in the country, okay? Country. And behind her house, she had a huge garden. And behind that, it was a huge sugar cane field. Like, it went for miles. It was huge. So we would go through the sugar cane fields and go to the pump. It's this place where they pumped out clear mineral water. Oh, we were swimming. It was wonderful. Okay. So we had went to the pump one day. Me, my grandma, and her friend Rory. Rory. Roy. I feel like I'm saying that weird. Whatever. And we went to the pump. And on the way back from the pump, we were walking back home. Oh, it's like a little fly in here. We were walking back home. And we walked to a, a, through a farm. And we were just walking. And it was. I saw a cow with a calf. She was feeding her calf or whatever so you know I didn't think nothing about it walk past it but I'm assuming because her calf was you know new she took our, our presence as offensive or just um, what's the word threatening or whatever and she chased my grandma she actually hit my grandma my grandma flipped in the air hit the floor and then she turned around to chase me but I ran and like hopped a fence and stuff and you know the farmers came over there and kind of threatened her and it, you know it was 
it was scary. I literally, like, Rory, we couldn't pick up Grandma because she obviously needed to pick up by, be picked up by something. Like, she just flipped in the air, got hit. She just got, come on. It was insane. So we ran back home through the sugar cane. I was following Roy. I got lost. He kept going. It was crazy. Then her dog, she had three dogs that I were really I was really close to. Bush came and found me in the sugar cane, which was so sweet. So sweet. Because I could have been lost forever. But she came and found me and led me back home. And grandma was in the hospital. She was good. Everything's good. She's fine. Boom. But it was definitely a traumatic experience at the time because you know, I like animals, and I've obviously never been that close to a cow, so for her to chase us, I was kind of like, oh my god, <laughs> help. But easy one for number six, my favorite color is pink. And I say, I figured that I would include that because as a little, as a young girl and in high school, I always used to say, I hate pink. I don't like pink. My favorite color is blue. My favorite color is this color, this color, but as I've gotten older and I've gotten into, like, different things, I'm like, I really like pinks. <clears throat> one of the main colors on my wedding was pink, so... Feelings change. Next, I love road trips. I absolutely love getting in the car and going for long distances. I like to get snacks, I like to blast the music, I like to be in good company. I will don't mind going by myself. I was supposed to go to Curl Fest this coming weekend, but I'm going to California. But I was definitely making that trip by myself. I was gonna drive myself to New York. Okay. And I was gonna do all that, but I'm gonna do it next year, so look out for that video next year. But the point is I love road trips. Do you guys like road trips? Some people I know like, ah, oh, I don't like being in a car that long, blah, blah, blah. And some people get car sick. I do get car sick, but only when other people drive. So if you drive me a long, long way, after a certain amount of time, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to go to sleep. I need a nap. But I'm going to be back, and I'm going to be back at 100%. Okay? I have a love and hate relationship with my hair. And I figured I would include this in this 10 things you don't know about me because my hair is my natural hair is kind of a big thing on my channel like I you know I've shared a lot of things about my hair doing my hair getting my hair cut and all that stuff and I really just have a love and hate relationship with it sometimes I want it out and then sometimes I want it up like now um I always want to change it I play with my in my mind all the time about cutting it into a TWA like a real short just bush but I, I can't ever commit <laughs> I can't commit to things like that just like I really want to I want my hair to be pink I want to dye my hair pink but I can't commit to damaging my hair that much you know so I guess I kind of just feel conflicted about my hair a lot of the time because I want to do some out-of-the-box things and then I'm like but then when I'm done with that out of box out of the out of the box thing I can't just go back to regular old Chardell. So, but I got these box braids in. I just did these over the weekend. And I love them. I'm going to try to keep these in. Because, if you know me, I guess this is a little tip about myself. I never keep my hair in longer than like a week and a half. It's a really bad habit. So, I'm really trying to keep these in. I like how they came out. I like the size. Boom. I'm trying to keep these in. Wish your girl luck. The last thing that I'm going to tell you about myself is I am still discovering, right, myself as a woman, my own woman. Um, I think I always thought as a young girl that by 29, 30, that I would know. Like, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be in my profession, I'm going to be living in New York, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to be good. But here that I'm 29, um... I don't have it all together yet. I'm still working things out. I'm still figuring things out. I'm still trying to discover who Shardell is and who she's going to be and what she's going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't a good I, I will say, I have, um, within the last, the beginning of this year alone, has taught me a lot about myself and opened a lot of doors for me and shown me places I want to be. I have an awesome um, job that I can do for my home with doing social media and have a bomb um I have a bomb um ball she's definitely the bomb because she is such an inspiration and you know it's just it's just great to have women doing their thing that are around me and you know I think she's she's probably a year older than me is she a year older than me yeah I think she's a year older than me dang she's a year older than me I'm getting old y'all I'm having fun actually finally discovering who I am, you know, getting married, having three kids in my 20s and not really, you know, some people go the career route first and then some people go the family route and I went the family route 
and now finding myself in my career, the things I'm going to do in another five years where I'll be, you know, I'm excited and I feel good about it and I'm just so happy to be doing things and to finally be stepping out the box because I have a problem with not stepping out the box and I am finally done. You know, the pauses I have on YouTube when I do videos and I stop is because I'm like, there's so many things I want to do, but I can't. It's hard for me to execute them alone. So I'm now taking those steps to not be alone and to do things and get it done. So if you have any questions or want to know more about me, comment down below. I'll share all the juice. And yeah, I hope you subscribe. No, I don't hope you subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe down there. You know where it's at. Down there, turn your notifications on when you know the next video is coming out because there will be a video tomorrow, okay? And I will see you guys in my next video.